I don't think you become more aware of all the sensations on your body than when you have been covered in ticks. Every five seconds, you're asking someone, can you check the spot? Can you check the spot? Can you check over here? I feel something. Is there a tick? It's the worst feeling. And they are such gross little creatures. The thought of the head burrowing under your skin. <coughs> it's pretty freaking disgusting. But our holiday was not all ticks and wind. There were some really great parts too. No, seriously, there were. <laughs> Check it out. Misty Mountains was a place that we found on Hip Camp. They did have a site that had power and water, so we decided to choose that because we were staying there for six days. The trip there was just an hour away from our previous location, which worked out nice, because we were driving in the mountain ranges, which was another first for us. It was a bit scary having to go past all the big trucks and other big vehicles, but we did it and it worked out fine. And then when we arrived at the property, that road was way worse, very narrow, very broken down and lots of slopes right next to the road. So it felt a bit scary driving that, but that worked out okay too. Thankfully, no one else was coming from the other direction. The signage that they had there was great, so very easy to follow. So we were able to find our camp pretty much straight away. And when we got there, we uh, parked to have a better look and walk around the area. When we saw the power outlet, we were like, oh god, this thing looks really dodge. But another plus was that that was not the only power outlet and there was a newer one there. So of course we used that one. We've just pulled up at Misty Mountains and we had the campsite one which has power um, and water. We think there's water. I'm pretty sure he said power and water but we're trying to find a good spot to park the caravan at the moment and I'll show you around and then there was this big blue barrel and we eventually found that it was covering the tap so we could hook up to that we eventually figured out how to park the van and we got all set up and ready and once we were parked we were ready to explore the area. About a 30 meter walk from our camp were the amenities which had hot showers and flushing toilets. Uh, looked pretty good. <laughs> you can be alright going down there. <laughs> <laughs> Do not fall. <laughs> Crap. And a few meters from that was a camp kitchen which had a pool table, table tennis, it had couches, it had a TV, it had kitchen stuff, and it even had a little kids' playground.
rest of the week was all about enjoying the place using the wagon to find firewood Wildflowers, it's pretty. Hey, oh, <laughs> oh no, he slipped. <laughs> Swinging on this epic chair swing which was practically falling apart but it was hooked up really well from whoever climbed that really high a tree and was still really fun and because it was so low to the ground but had a really long rope it was just so relaxing it was like being a baby in a rocking chair it was lovely Walking. <laughs> and the views. marshmallows on the fire. Marshmallow time. Oh, yeah, that's a good long stick. <laughs> Sit like a bushman. <laughs> How do you have your marshmallows? Mm -hmm. Like, do you burn them? No or do you like them nice, just the edges brown? Serious, you haven't burnt marshmallows. Well, I'll tell you how I like my marshmallows. Mm -hmm. I just like them brown. Just the edges crispy. And then I peel the top layer off and eat it. And then I do it again to the next layer until it's gone. Yeah, you see how the back of your marshmallow is? Mm. Oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I didn't want that to happen. <laughs> yeah, so you can peel, peel the top layer of your marshmallow off. Let's try to get the little bit more brown. No, that's good. This is perfect. That's good. So now you grab the top layer and you just peel it off. Yes. And then you eat that. And, and then you do it again. You do it again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> mm. It's good, mm. hey. <laughs> No, mine's not quite ready. One side is too much and the other side's not even touched. <laughs> there were some unpleasant parts too, not gonna lie. The wind was icy cold and super strong for three out of the six days that we were there. And our awning got a serious wind test and passed.
Bye. Bye, Windy. Bye, Windy. <laughs> what are you doing with your fingers? See, it looks like outside after last night's windy night. Okay. All right. Can I get past? Okay. You hop down, and then I get down, and then we're going to get Honey and Taylor out as well. Hey. It's still windy, hey. Just latch the door. Okay, let him out. A lot of branches. <laughs> Good morning. Lots of branches, hey Luna. We need to tuck everything outside. The awning still looks good. Those stabilizers do well. We really enjoyed the bushwalking, but when we returned, we checked for ticks and we found them. Vinny and Honey each had one, Luna and Taylor each had two, and I had three. It was disgusting and we felt like we were feeling them all over ourselves for like the next three days, <laughs> constantly asking each other to check, check, check. <laughs> Thankfully they were only the regular brown bush ticks that you get, not the paralysis ones. But when we remove them, we put them in Ziploc bags anyway, so if any of us had a reaction, we could take them with us to the doctors if needed be. But no one had a reaction, everyone turned out good, and we could dispose of that terrible little bag. Did we go back into the bush? Of course. Did we find more ticks on us? Yep. Would we do it again? Yes? I think when it comes to bush camping, there are some things that you're just gonna have to embrace. The great things and the, the yuck things. We then had some friends join us and they were not afraid of ticks, which is good because we had a lovely time with them. We went to Cram's farm and unfortunately dogs are not allowed there. So we had to leave Honey and Taylor behind in the van but we only went for a short trip it was just over two hours and we generally don't leave them alone for longer than that in the caravan the lake was gorgeous it was so beautiful there and luna had a really good time with her friend as did we with ours it's always nice to be able to share a camping trip with friends or family when you have them around gone poof over vanished it was lovely being in the mountains and the property was very well taken care of if you can get past the ticks i would definitely recommend that you go there there are also heaps of four-wheel drive tracks there which we didn't really attempt or we kind of attempted but soon turned around because it was very wet lots of mud and we were alone and we did not want to get stuck out there also in the area are waterfalls and Cram's farm was close by so there's plenty to do if you stay there and you wake up with amazing views thanks for watching like and subscribe if you want to see more and we'll see you next time